Today I'm showing you how to create some different types of navigation in PowerPoint. And I'm going to start with uh, just adding a few slides to this basic presentation. Now the idea here is that we're creating an interactive PowerPoint uh, rather than one that you would use for a stand-up presentation. And so we don't want um, this to be a linear presentation. We want the students or um, participants who are using it to have a little bit more control over where they go and when. Uh, we could call it a choose your own adventure type of PowerPoint if you would like to. So that's kind of the idea is that we want to create types of navigation that will give our user a little bit more control over the presentation and what's happening. So I'm going to begin by showing you how to do some really basic um, just link navigation. And I'm going to put this that here on slide one. So there are a couple of places to which we might want to navigate. For example, we could um, use links to navigate to other slides within the presentation. But we could also use links to navigate to websites. So I'm going to show you how to do both of those. And another option that we could do is to navigate to, say, a worksheet or a spreadsheet that we want people to access. So I'll give you a kind of quick demonstration on how to do all three of those. All right, so the first one we're going to look at is how to create a link to another slide within our presentation. A lot of people don't know that you can do that, and it's an important skill to have. So I'm going to select where I've typed slide two here. And then, of course, anytime we want to put something into our presentation, like a hyperlink or an image or anything like that, we go up to the Insert menu. So in this case, we're inserting a hyperlink. So we'll go there on our menu. Okay, and then what I want you to notice is this menu over here on the left-hand side. So we can create links in PowerPoint to each of the following types of things. First of all, we can link to an existing file. So that would be a Word document, an Excel spreadsheet, a PDF, whatever it may be. So if you have an interactive presentation that you want uh, students or users to uh, engage with, you could have a link to a PDF on that computer and have it open, for example. Okay? You could also do this for a presentation that you're giving uh, when you're teaching or presenting at a conference or something like that. If you want a document to pull up quickly, you don't want to have to go access it separately. All right, another option on this particular tab is web page. So down here at the bottom, we could uh, copy and paste or type in a web address that we could link to, and we'll do that in a minute. All right, the next one here is place in this document. That's the one we're going to use right now, but I am going to go through and explain some others. So by choosing this place in this document option, we can choose to link to any slide uh, within the presentation, which is really, really convenient. All right, the next option here is to create a new document. So this would allow you to actually say, you know what, I'd like to link to a Word document or to an Excel spreadsheet here, but I haven't made that document yet. So this would allow you to then go in and create that document. And then finally, you can link to an email address. So if you created a presentation and then said something like, if you have comments or questions about this presentation, please email such and such, you could put the link in here. All right, so I have highlighted on my presentation that I want to link to slide two. So I'm going to go back on my menu to place in this document. And then I'm going to choose from my list of slides, slide two. It's really that easy. We click OK. And now you can see that this word or this phrase, slide two, is a link. I'll do it one more time quickly. Highlight the words, insert, hyperlink. And I don't have slide three as an option here for some reason. It must be that one. And click OK. All right, I could also do a link to Google hyperlink. This time I would choose existing file or web page and type in the link to Google. You could also paste it in. And that's how you create text links within PowerPoint.